This is a very sensitive area. We have um, a lot of protected species, including endangered species like the manatee, a lot of protected bird species. If they want to continue to, to see these animals out here, we got to protect them. Obviously, here there's more boaters on the water, there's more tours on the water, and so there has to be a set of ground rules where everyone can have a chance to enjoy these pieces of nature that we have out here. There are obviously laws protecting these, um, and depending on what species it is and where you are, there are different levels of punishment that can be levied uh, depending on what kind of violations you're involved with. 99% of the ecotour providers and the people that are just out here recreating obey the law, are great stewards of the environment. However, there's a small percentage that don't care um, and will do things that damage that environment. And all it takes is a couple people that can basically ruin an entire area you know, and make it unfit for the wildlife where they'll move on or won't have a place to nest. A lot of times some of these rules people don't even understand that are going across the seagrass flat and if their motor's trimmed down all the way, they're chopping up that seagrass and it will take years for that to come back. We're all would have taken a little bit of education, you know, to trim your motor up, pull off or trolling motor off, and you could have saved uh, a significant environmental damage. But almost everything out here is for protected preserve and we want to keep it that way. The reason you see so many animals and manatees and dolphins and, and all those protected wading birds is because this is still a fairly pristine environment and we'd like to keep it that way.